Hello everyone, this is the presentation video for the CVPR 2023 highlight paper, Frequency Modulated Point Cloud Rendering with Easy Editing. I'm the co-first author of this paper, Xiaoyang Huang. This paper presents a point cloud rendering pipeline for mobile view synthesis, which enables high fidelity detail reconstruction, real-time rendering, and user-friendly editing. In contrast to implicit rendering, our pipeline supports high fidelity interactive editing based on point cloud manipulation. In the heart of our pipeline is an adaptive frequency modulation module called Adaptive Frequency Net or AFNet, which uses a hyper network to learn the local texture frequency to modulate the implicit radiant signal at a small computational budget. We present Magic 3D, high resolution text 3D content creation from NVIDIA. Industries including autonomous vehicles, robotic factories, game designing, and movie production all involve creating virtual digital worlds. 3D content creation plays a crucial role in these applications. However, 3D content creation is typically a laborious process and requires professional software and skills to reach perfection. Magic 3D can generate high quality 3D mesh models from text input. Our goal is to turbocharge 3D content creation to reduce the time and effort that is required. Here are some results of our 3D generation. Magic 3D can understand the input text and create 3D mesh models according to the text descriptions, like a bunny sitting on top of pancakes. The 3D meshes also include detailed geometry, like the skin of the iguana. We present ECON, which stands for Explicit Clothed Humans Optimized via Normal Integration. Econ reconstructs high-fidelity, detailed 3D humans, even those wearing loose clothing or in challenging postures, from a single image. It combines the best properties of implicit and explicit representations, thus effectively addressing the long-standing trade-offs between pose robustness and topological flexibility. Inspired by the sandwich structure, Acon reconstructs through firstly lifting the front and back normal maps into surface patches, then using the simple X body model as a canvas to stitch these patches. Econ is capable of reconstructing multi-person, even with occlusion. Its final output can be animated with the simple X pose parameters. We propose Plix, a pseudo-linear inverse kinematic solver for 3D human body estimation. Plix offers precise alignment to the input image, and it further enhances accuracy in 3D space by incorporating camera intrinsics during prediction. This consideration allows Plix to effectively handle perspective distortions that can arise from the camera lens used. In order to achieve precise alignment of the body mesh in 3D space, our first step is to estimate an approximate pose by predicting 3D vertices that align with the pixels. We then select different segments from the predicted vertices and their corresponding counterparts on the template SMPL mesh. By aligning these matched points, we can calculate the initial rotation centered around each segment. Next, we utilize Plix, which operates on 2D pixel-aligned vertices, to determine the optimal pose, shape, and translation. This is accomplished by solving a least square system derived from linearizing the SMPL formulation and incorporating the initial rough pose. By employing... We present OmniObject 3D a large vocabulary 3D object dataset for realistic perception, reconstruction, and generation. Our dataset consists of around 6,000 high-quality, real-scanned 3D objects from around 200 classes. For data collection, we utilize professional scanners to obtain a high-fidelity textured mesh of each object. Point clouds are sampled on object surface, and multi-view images are rendered using Blender. We also capture videos using iPhones and extract foreground masks. With the vast exploration space offered by OmniObject 3D, we set up four evaluation tracks, robust point cloud perception, narrow view synthesis, surface reconstruction, and 3D object generation. We hope that the new dataset can boost the research on general 3D object understanding and modeling in the real world. 
Hi everyone, I'm Yi Ting Shen. This is the presentation for our paper, Progressive Transformation Learning for Leveraging Virtual Images in Training. In this work, we propose PTL, a new training scheme that iteratively increments the training set by adding transformed virtual images with enhanced realism. We also show that the data distribution of the training set can be modeled as a multifarad Gaussian distribution in the representation space of the sigmoid-based detector, and therefore the domain gap for new data can be measured by the Mahadabus distance. In PTL, the domain gap is used to select the subset of virtual images for virtual to real transformation. We demonstrate that PTL outperforms baseline methods in terms of low shot and cross domain detection accuracy on three UAV few human detection benchmarks. Training object detector. Hello, everyone. Thanks for watching this video. Today, I'm going to talk about our work, Vector Floor Sack, the present semantic segmentation, a typical kind of vector graphics. To process vector rough cast floor plans directly with compact and regular vector rise segmentation. Our existing image based segmentation networks are not directly applicable. We propose a two stream graph attention network and cast the problem into due task of room boundary classification and partition region classification. A novel modulated GAT module is devised to enable efficient interactions between the two streams. And therefore, enable their mutual enhancement. Results and new metrics show our method achieves superior performance and produces much more regular and integral floor plan segmentation. I'm Ben Agro, and today I'll be presenting implicit occupancy flow fields for perception and prediction in self-driving. Traditional object-based autonomy detects discrete objects by threshold and confidence scores. This can be unsafe because we need to limit the number of detections for efficiency, and thresholding reduces uncertainty propagation. Alternatively, object-free methods output dense occupancy and flow grids for the whole scene over future time. These methods are computationally inefficient due to high-dimensional grids and inaccurate due to the limited receptive field inherent to fully convolutional networks. This motivates Implicito, a unified perception and prediction approach which employs an efficient global attention mechanism to implicitly represent occupancy and flow over time with a single neural network. Implicito avoids unnecessary computation as it can be directly queried by a motion planner at a continuous point in space and future time for the probability that point is occupied at that time and a 2D velocity vector at that point if it were occupied. Through extensive experimentation in urban and highway settings, we demonstrate Implicito outperforms the current state of the art. Unison a neural closed-loop sensor simulator. Unison reconstructs manipulable digital twins from real collected data. This video shows the real data in Unison rendering from the digital twin. Unison also reconstructs dense depth and normals. Unison builds a compositional neural scene representation, which allows us to manipulate the scene. Along with reconstructing the original scenario, we can modify the white sedans route, remove all dynamic actors, and insert new actors into the scene. We can also manipulate and move the self-driving vehicle's viewpoint to the left, right, or change the camera sensor position, elevating it or lowering it. All of these capabilities allow us to specify new counterfactual scenarios, simulate realistic sensor data, and run autonomy in a closed loop fashion. In this example, we insert a new oncoming actor. Then the autonomy model and the virtual environment are actively interacting with each other to create a completely new scenario than what was observed in the original data. This is closed loop sensor simulation with Unisim. We present Real Impact, a data set of impact sound fields for real objects. We'll begin with a brief summary. Everyday objects each make unique sounds that are a product of their materials and geometry, as well as how they are contacted and where the listener is relative to the object. We carefully capture each of these aspects in a data set of over 150,000 real recordings of impact sounds from 50 everyday objects. We place each object on a mesh in the center of an acoustically treated room and strike it repeatedly at a given point with an impact hammer. Meanwhile, a two-doff gantry moves a column of microphones to different positions relative to the object between each hammer strike, allowing us to capture a sound field for the object. We also mount an RGBD camera to the gantry to capture images of the objects from each position for interesting visual acoustic tasks. 
Hello everyone. I'm Ishun. This talk is going to be about multiplicative Fourier level of detail, which is a mathematic analysis framework of the principle of multiscale hybrid representation. We develop MFLOD on multi-resolution feature volume, each level's feature is modulated by a sinusoidal function and then element-wisely multiplied by a linear transformation of previous layer's representation in a layer-to-layer -layer recursive manner. In contrast to previous hybrid methods, MFLOD could be elegantly characterized as a linear combination of sine basis functions with varying amplitude, frequency, and phase upon the learned multilevel features, thus offering great feasibility in Fourier analysis. MFLOD has several attractive properties, such as fast training and evaluation, superior quality, natural LOD, and better generalization. Here, we introduce our work. We propose a new solution for semantic image editing, named the SimDob. There are various ways to enable editing images. Some works use high-level conditioning, such as text or attribute, while others use low-level conditioning, such as sketch. Nevertheless, most of them cannot control both high-level semantic category and pixel-level layout concurrently. Semantic image editing provides users with a flexible tool to modify a given image guided by a corresponding segmentation map. The previous semantic image editing methods handle backgrounds and objects as a whole using a monolithic model and process each pixel in the same way. Consequently, they struggle to deal with the compound of backgrounds and several overlapping objects in a complex scene. They may generate distorted objects and texturally inconsistent. We present Mask Sketch for unpaired structure guided mask image generation. In this paper, we answer the question how can we use strong prior of the state of the art generative models to perform high quality image generation translation without any additional supervision? Our key observation is that self attention maps of the state of the art generative transformer, MaskGit, encode structure for images of any domains, such as photos and sketches. We use this observation to formulate a structure similarity objective that we use for a modified structure-guided sampling. Our sampling algorithm, mass sketch, allows translation of sketches to realistic natural photos. Mass sketch translates images from arbitrary domains, such as sketches, cartoons, and 3D models, into natural domain without any pairwise supervision and only requires class label. Keep watching to take a closer look at our method. We propose Text2 Scene, text-driven indoor scene stylization with part-aware details. Our method creates realistic and part-aware textures for various categories of 3D objects, which can constitute high-quality virtual scenes. Also, our method is scalable that can create detailed and realistic textures for various indoor scenes. Further, Diverse results can be obtained from the same 3D scene and controlled by input conditions. Our approach is divided into two main parts, understanding the 3D object and the stylization process based on that. Understanding 3D object deduces the texture parts that exhibit different materials or textures in the real world without any training labels. Basically we create a color composition that visually match the given the object label, such as bed in the text image embedding of clip. The subsequent scene stylization utilizes the discovered parts to first. Hi, my name is Rajans. I'm here to present our work Polynomial Implicit Neural Representation for a Large Diverse Dataset. To give you an overview, uh, Implicit Neural Representation, INR, are very effective for 2D and 3D scene representation. Recently, they have also been extended as a generative model to represent entire dataset. Most of the INR generally consist of a periodic function-based position encoding followed by a multi-layer perceptron. However, using such kind of positional embedding space can be limiting for large dataset representation, mainly due to finite nature of this embedding space. In this work, we propose a polynomial function-based INR, and we propose a model such that it can approximate higher-order polynomial degrees. Through extensive experiment on ImageNet dataset, we saw that 
Hi, this is Bai Bunshi from UC Berkeley. This is joint work with Trevor Darrow and Xin Wang. This work studies top-down tension, which is a concept called opposite to bottom-up tension. So bottom-up tension means a tension that is only dependent on the input. It will normally highlight all the salient objects in the image. And on the other hand, top-down tension means a tension that is directed by the high-level task. It only highlights the object that is relevant to the task while ignoring the others. And this can help us extract a task adaptive representation. However, we find that current top down tension algorithms do not have a principal design and they are not compatible to the VM transformers. So, motivated by this, we propose Apps VIT, a VIT based model that has the ability of top down tension. We show that Apps VIT is able to adjust its attention to different objects given different tasks. And we also find Apps VIT is able to improve performance on very language tasks. Hello everyone, I'm Hao Xin Wang from Peking University. Today I will present our paper, Mask Image Modeling with Local Mosh Square Reconstruction for MI models, thousands of GPU hours for pre-training, limit their industrial application. To this end, we propose a new playtext task to accelerate the pre-training, Local Mosh Square Reconstruction. We are the first to explicitly guild both the lower and upper layers using reconstruction tasks. Moreover, we propose to use multi scale surveillance signals instead of traditional single ones. Concretely, the lower layers reconstruct the fine scale signals and the upper layers reconstruct the coarse scale ones. Local MM is architecture agnostic and can be used in both column and parallel architectures. Compared with the existing method, local MM can achieve their best results with 3 to 30 times acceleration. Now it's my pleasure to share our work, Modeling Video as Stochastic Processes for Fine-Grained Video Representation Learning. Before introducing our work in detail, I will give a quick preview of our work. We propose a novel fine-grained video representation learning framework that models video as stochastic processes, VSP. By enforcing frame sequences to conform to Brownian bridge distributions via a process-based contrastive loss. We adopt specialized sampling strategies for different types of annotated data by adjusting the Brownian bridge and therefore acquire favorable video representations in both self-supervised and weakly supervised manners. To the best of our knowledge, we are the first to model video as a stochastic process and achieve state-of-the-art performance on various fine-grained video understanding tasks across four widely used datasets. The following is an introduction to our motivation, which shows the evolution of fine-grained representation learning. The method in Figura is represented by alignment learning temporal representation. Hi everyone, I'm happy to introduce our work today, egocentric video task translation. Traditionally, different video understanding tasks are treated in isolation. However, in wearable cameras, the immersive egocentric perspective of a person engaging with the world around them presents an interconnected web of video understanding tasks. This offers an opportunity for holistic perception. Given a set of diverse egocentric video tasks, we propose Ego T2 that beneficially leverages task synergies to improve each individual task. Specifically, we propose Ego T2S for improving one primary task of interest and Ego T2G for jointly optimizing all K tasks. Experimental results demonstrate the superiority of Ego T2. Furthermore, it offers good interpretability on inherent task relations. Speech driven gesture generation is highly challenging due to the random jitters of human motion. In addition, there is an inherent asynchronous relationship between human speech and gestures. To tackle these challenges, we introduce a novel quantization-based and phase-guided motion matching framework. Specifically, we first present a gesture VQVAE module to learn a codebook to summarize meaningful gesture units. We then use Levenstein distance to align diverse gestures with different speech. Levenstein distance based on audio quantization, which helps match more appropriate gestures with speech. Moreover, we introduce phase to guide the optimal gesture matching based on the semantics of context or rhythm of audio, which makes the generated gestures more natural. Our method outperforms recent approaches on speech-driven gesture generation.
Hello everyone. I am a student at Peking University. The paper I will be presenting today is titled, Actionlet Dependent Contrastive Learning for Unsupervised Skeleton-Based Action Recognition. Previous skeleton-based contrastive learning transforms the skeleton data for creating positive and negative samples through data augmentations. However, existing contrastive learning methods treat different regions of the skeleton sequences uniformly, disregarding the fact that motion regions contain richer action information. This approach may degrade motion-correlated information too much. Additionally, global average pooling used in feature extraction can introduce non-motion information, reducing feature separability. To address these issues, we propose a novel actionlet-dependent contrastive learning method. By utilizing actionlets, we design motion-adaptive... Hi all, I'm Paul Vogtländer from Google Research, and I'm presenting Connecting Vision and Language with Video Localized Narratives. Here we want to annotate complex videos like this one. For this, we want to create multimodal video descriptions that are localized in space-time, and we want to capture the story of the video. We annotated 50,000 videos of the datasets OVIS, UVO, OOPS, and Kinetics. On top of this, we defined two tasks, namely video narrative grounding and video question answering. On the right, you see an example of our annotations. For each actor separately, we have a text description, and almost each word is localized in space-time. For example, the word ostrich is shown in dark red, and here you can see that it is localized on different keyframes. In this paper, we creatively model video text as game players with multivariate cooperative game theory to wisely handle the uncertainty during fine-grained semantic interaction with diverse granularity, flexible combination, and vague intensity. Now, we show an example of a cooperative game for a video text pair. We achieve hierarchical interaction. That is, Entity-level interactions on the frames and words. Action-level interactions on the clips and phrases. And event-level interactions on the segments and paragraphs. Hello everyone, we are pleased to present our CVPI highlight paper, Improving Common Sense in Vision Language Models via Knowledge Graph Readers. I am Shu Quan and this paper is co-authored by Yu Jiaxian, Dong Dongcheng, Yi Chongxu, Lu Yuan, Chen Guangzhu, and Jin Liao. In this work, we learn common sense by pairing images with common sense riddles, which can be generated in unlimited scale and high quality by leveraging any knowledge graph and image text dataset. We provide a fair and widely applicable benchmark and show that VL models have a long way to go. Yes, in this work, we first take a step towards analyzing the problems that VL models have on common sense. Many vision-based problems in our daily life go beyond the perception and the recognition. For example, when we hear people say it tastes sour, we need to identify they are talking about lemons on the table instead of the chocolate cake. Therefore, it is essential for artificial general intelligence to develop common sense capability. Vision language models. Welcome to our highlighted poster session. This is Xiao Han. I am going to present our work, Fameville, Multitasking Vision Language Model for Heterogeneous Fashion Tasks. Our work is a parameter-efficient and effective learning method for fashion-focused vision and language tasks, which utilizes a task-versatile architecture and a stable multitask training strategy to overcome parameter inefficiency and exploit inter-task relatedness. This job is done by the University of Surrey, iFlytech, and Fuden University together. In the fashion domain, a wide range of real-world vision and language tasks exist, which have found applications in various e-commerce scenarios, such as improving product discoverability, enhancing seller-buyer engagement, and increasing customer conversion rates during catalog browsing. In this work, we specifically focus on four popular fashion tasks, cross-modal retrieval, XMR, which aims to retrieve the most relevant image or sentence from a large pool of candidates. Hi everyone. I'm glad to introduce our work, 
UniPerceiver V2, which is selected as a highlight paper at CVPR 2023. I'll briefly summarize our work first. Vision Foundation models, such as BAIT-3 and COCA, has shown a great potential of solving different tasks with a general model. However, they still need fine-tuning to be adapted to a specific task, which is costly. Different from the foundation models, UniPerceiver V2 aims to build a generalist model, which handles a broad range of vision and language tasks with exactly the same model and weights, without any fine-tuning. Compared with all existing generalist models, UniPerceiver V2 supports more tasks and achieves much better performance. Moreover, we achieve competitive performance compared with the task-specific fine-tuned models such as Swin Large and Dino, with exactly the same model and weights. Hello everyone, I'm Xian Fanghe, a PhD candidate from the University of Science and Technology of China. It's my great honor to introduce our work, D2 Former. Jointly learning hierarchical detectors and contextual descriptors via agent-based transformers at CVPR 2023. Image matching aims to find pixel-level matches between images depicting the same scene. It is a fundamental task with a wide range of 3D vision applications, such as 3D reconstruction, simultaneous localization and mapping, and visual localization. Owing to its broad real-world applications, the image matching task has received increasing attention in the past decades. For the image matching task, there are two major challenges that need to be addressed. The first challenge is limited feature discriminability. Previous detector-based matching methods usually use CNN to extract image features. Due to the limited receptive... Hello everyone. Today, we will introduce our paper, Set Adapt Network for open vocabularies and instrumentation. In this paper, we mainly target open vocabularies and instrumentation problem. We propose an end-to-end -end framework to train pre-trained vision and model, which is key in the case, and transformation model, by directing the key and so course on a distinct area. Our approach is fast, accurate, and only has a few traditional framework parameters. We evaluate our approach on multiple specification benchmarks. Our methods independently outperform other counterparts with up to 18 times fewer framework parameters and 19 times faster inference speed. In this video, I present our CVPR 2023 highlight work, Odyssey. Open Vocabulary Panoptic Segmentation with Text-Image Diffusion Models. This is the joint work of researchers from UCSD and NVIDIA. It will be presented in person during the Tuesday morning session at poster number 281. Going beyond generative tasks, Odyssey leverages the frozen internal representation of larger-scale text-to-image diffusion models for open vocabulary panoptic segmentation tasks. It segments and recognizes any category beyond the limited training ones. Here are some qualitative example results from Odyssey. It can perform panoptic segmentation of the input image and recognize unlimited number of categories in the real world. The model is quite robust to the input image's domain change and category distribution shift. For example, the Canadian flag, countertop, and faucet, these categories are not in our training dataset, but the model is still able to output detailed segmentation masks and recognize them at Hi, I'm Xinjiang Wang. Today, I'm going to present you a consistent teacher. For a normal semi-supervised object detection, a teacher detector generates pseudo-labels for the students to update weights. However, there is a loophole in this iteration. Take this image, for example. The metal board nearby the polar bear is misclassified as a bear as well which is surprising to us. The weird phenomenon is attributed to a set of inconsistencies. For example, the teacher feature map heat map is inconsistent with the anchors that are assigned positive by the pseudo bounding box during training. And the iteration after another, the bias accumulates. Once we fix the inconsistency issues, the performance boosts. Hi, my name is Ronald. My name is Klon. 
We are presenting our CVPR 2023 highlight paper titled Meister, Mass Autoencoder Guided Segmentation at Pixel Resolution for Accurate Self-Supervised Subcellular Structure Recognition. Subcellular structure segmentation often precedes analysis of volumetric electron microscopy datasets. However, this task is challenging due to the large dataset size and the lack of manual labels to train robust segmentation models in a supervised setting. Meister treats this segmentation task as a self-supervised representation learning and clustering problem. The novel stride and cover inference strategy further increases our segmentation resolution to the level of individual pixels. This outline approach outperforms existing self-supervised solutions by as much as 29% in average die score. First, we want to give context and explain our motivation behind Meister. As mentioned, volumetric electron microscopy can generate terabytes of imaging data in a single run we present the paper entitled RIP Mode, Learning to Ray-Parameterize Diverse Experts for Subcellular Structure Prediction. This work is done by researchers from Shenzhen Institute of Advanced Technology, Chinese Academy of Sciences, University of Chinese Academy of Sciences, the Chinese University of Hong Kong, and Zhejiang Lab. In biological research, fluorescent staining is a key technique to reveal the locations and morphology of subcellular structures. However, it is slow, expensive, and harmful to cells. In this paper, we model it as a deep learning task termed subcellular structure prediction SSP, aiming to predict the 3D fluorescent images of multiple subcellular structures from a 3D transmitted light image. This task faces two main challenges, partial labeling and multiscale. Thus, we propose ray parameterizing mixture of diverse experts rip mode, a network that dynamically organizes its parameters with Hi, I'm Zhu Jinjing from VDS Lab, Hong Kong USD Guangzhou. In this video, I will present our CVPR 2023 paper, Pachymix Transformer for Unsupervised Dome Adaptation, a Game Perspective. In this work, we want to address the limitation of previous works, as the performance of cross attention highly depends on the quality of pseudo labels. It becomes less effective when the domain gap becomes large. Therefore, we propose a new problem for UDA, how to smoothly bridge in the source and target domains by constructing an intermediate domain with an effective VAT-based solution. The intuition behind this is that, compared to direct aligned domains, decreasing the domain gap between the intermediate and the source or target domain can facilitate the domain alignment. Therefore, we propose a novel and effective method called patch -me Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being on making the effort to come today. Let me introduce myself first. My name is Luo Kang Yang and I am from East China Normal University in Shanghai, China. It is my pleasure to share with you our latest work. Titled GradMA, a gradient memory-based accelerated federated learning with alleviated catastrophic forgetting. First of all, we provide a summary of our work. Federated Learning, FL, has emerged as a de facto machine. Hi, welcome to the presentation of our work on CVPR 2023, Slimbo Dataset Condensation. Our work introduced a new task termed as Slimbo Dataset Condensation. It wants to obtain a smaller synthetic dataset given a previously condensed set without the access to the original one. We first identify issues of existing state-of-the-art DC methods in the setting of Slimbo DC namely inconsistent feature extractors and underdetermined solutions. Focusing on these drawbacks, we propose a novel solution targeted at Slimbo DC. The course lies in first-order parameter matching, infinity-order parameter matching, and significance-aware parameterization. Experiments suggest that our method can achieve comparable or even better performance on Slimbo DC with recondensing with access to original datasets. Given an original dataset T as input, Dataset distillation, also known as dataset condensation, or DC in short, aims at We present 
LineCam, a framework for exact visualization and characterization of deep neural network geometry and decision boundary. Deep neural networks with piecewise linear activations like leaky value or sawtooth are affine spline operators, which means a DNN partitions its input space into linear regions and affinely maps input vectors from any given region to the output. A lot like origami, deep neural networks fold, bend, and stretch the input space to fit any given function. SplineCam is the first method to exactly compute these folds or partitions formed by a neural network on arbitrary 2D subspaces of the input space. We provide SplineCam as a PyTorch toolbox that can be used to visualize and study implicit neural representations, locally characterize deep neural networks based on partition statistics, Hello, everyone. I am honored to report QDeter, an efficient low-bit quantized detection transformer for you. Current VITs are facing an application constraint of huge flops. For example, VIT huge gains 162 gigabytes flops. Consequently, it is very challenging to deploy VITs on real-world devices. We first construct a baseline quantized Dieter network. We use the learning step size quantization method. Specifically, we use the symmetric quantization for network weights and asymmetric activation quantization with zero point for activations, including the query, key, value, and activation map. Based on the quantization method above, we formulate the quantized fully connected layer as QFC. We further... Hello everybody, my name is Bo Li. In this video, I will present a paper called On the Effectiveness of Partial Variance Reduction in Faculty Learning with Heterogeneous Data. This work is a collaboration with Michael Schmidt, Tony Astrom, and Sebastian Stich. So in this paper, we proposed a partial variance reduced algorithm by PAR for dealing with data heterogeneity in faculty learning, we then theoretically prove that our algorithm can converge as fast as centralized SGD in most practical relevant cases. Furthermore, we experimentally demonstrate that our algorithm is more communicationally efficient than the baselines. And we also show the diversity between the feature extraction layers and alignment between the classifiers are crucial for the success of our algorithm. Next, I will give a detailed explanation of this paper. The goal of this work is to develop physical and thorough texts which can detail black box recognition models and evade anti-spoofing in commercial face recognition systems. So in this paper, we design and thorough touch 3D meshes with an elaborate topology on human face, which have geometric details, complex topology, and high-quality textures. And in the red figure, uh, we show physical black box attacks for Unlocking one mobile phone. The attacker wearing the 3D printed adversarial match can mislead the face recognition model to be recognized as the victim, meanwhile, evading face and spoofing. Hello, everyone. In this work, we present alt freezing for more general video face forgery detection. First of all, we take a quick look at our work. We find naively training a spatio-temporal model easily overfits training data. We propose a training strategy, that is, alternately freezing spatial and temporal kernels after dividing the kernels in a spatio-temporal network into spatial-related and temporal-related. When it is the round for capturing more temporal artifacts, we freeze all the spatial convolution kernels. And when it is the round for capturing more spatial artifacts, we freeze all the temporal convolution kernels. The freezing of spatial and temporal kernels is alternate. With the alternately freezing strategy, the network is encouraged to capture both spatial and temporal artifacts. So what is face forgery detection? Looking at this video, there are two people chatting. Can you tell if the two faces in this video are fake or real? The goal